Yo, this your boy MC121 half of Mike Check Monday checking in. And this is a special presentation of Mike Check Monday, the Injustice Edition. Hey y'all, this is Key Lolo in the house. Uh, we regret that we have to even make this special edition, but we felt like it was um, indeed necessary as the injustice is happening right here in our hometown where we broadcast this each and every week for you guys. So um, it would be a miscarriage of justice to not speak out on the matter of Mr. Alton Sterling, who was uh, killed in the city of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, we don't have an agenda for today, per se. We're just going off of um, the emotions, the facts, um, the overall, I guess, morale in the city right now in our state even um and in our country as this story has now grew to national attention um via black lives black lives matter and facebook instagram twitter um it's just grown to i believe abc and cnn now right here is some audio footage of some cell phone footage of what happened. Dash cam conveniently dropped off their, I guess, uh, their armor. The body cam. Yeah, the body cam mm -hmm. conveniently dropped off. But there was people in. There was one video of the in the car, and the last new video just came out today. It was more, uh, you know, more directly on the scene. As if it was from the from the door of the store facing out to the right. street. And I think that's the, that was the actual clear surveillance camera. Uh, that the store owner had. Yeah, I saw the video from the same angle, but it was just two different um, 
sights or whatever. Because one um, was in the car through yeah. the window, yeah. and the other one felt like it was right there, you know, person, right there. Not through anything. And it was just, it was just a horrible video to watch. It was, just a, it was just a horrible scenario. Um, and just the way, the way everything is going about is horrible. I keep saying the word horrible. I just don't know what else to say. And I think that's happening to a lot of people. No one really can articulate exactly how they feel. And at any given moment, it can change. I went from being in disbelief that this was actually here, that this was happening. And then it went from this video to just taking over my life. Like, I I couldn't sleep. I couldn't think about anything else. Um, I was upset. I was enraged. I had to calm down, and then I'm I'm back sad again. So um, that's happening to a lot of people here, where they just, you know, can't figure out the words to say. Um, of course, everyone uh, is coming together to express condolences for his family. This man had, you know, children. He was married with five children. Yeah. So um, they have to witness this. Um, you know, displayed in the mass media and all and the over son, social media. His, his son that was on the news, uh, that was doing a pro, uh, conference. Yeah, uh, that was his press release. At City Hall. Yeah, uh, that was just extremely heartbreaking. It was a 15 year old son, you know, and being a 15 year old period, you it's know, tough. Gr- growing up and you know, no matter what section you're in, you know, is it it it's hard. And so you're seeing, and, and, and not only does he have to deal with the loss of his father, that video is going to be repeatedly shared everywhere. Right. And of course, that the extremely graphic version, they can't play everything and blur out on the news. But with social media and the way people think text and, you know, you can't just tell somebody not to be on their phone. So that boy has to just imagine he has to see that pain visually every day and hear people talk about that at summer camp or at the YMCA or, or, or you know, whatever he's doing throughout the, the summer. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just horrible. And the video and another thing that was so horrible is, you know, the media. The media was extremely quick to point out his few criminal past that he didn't serve his time you know, uh, was being a, 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 com- a productive uh, a citizen in his community, wasn't doing anything illegal. And, you know, don't not, now don't get me wrong. They said, you know, he, he was a convicted felon and had a gun. But you didn't know that until after the fact. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. If somebody is breaking the law, break the law, arrest them, let them have their day in court, and let that be that. This is about a pattern of incidents that continue to take the lives of people that look like him and that look like me. And if you can't in this moment just give us that, shut up. Just shut up. Just wait until it's your day to talk about whatever. If I go to a breast cancer walk, I wear pink, I get my shirt, I walk, I get my donations, and we talk about breast cancer and what's plaguing those individuals. I don't come to the breast cancer walk with purple on talking about Alzheimer's. Not that those two issues aren't both important, and not that those two things don't need our attention and our donations and, and, you know, awareness, but that's two separate things. So that has been the bulk of my... Um, anger and my rage is that people want to bring up different things and you know I've been unfriended by so called you know friends on different yeah, things when you, when you blocked speak by different publicly people on Facebook, on Facebook especially you really see and I went to an all white school when I was in high school it wasn't all white well it wasn't all white but it was predominantly white and I shared my face I, I didn't deal with my fair share of racism there and you know it's there but it's funny, some of the people that act like they wasn't racist in high school, they try to be buddy-buddy with you. Those are the main ones in the WFB comments saying the most ignorant things. And the- To say that it's a common thing in this area. And so when we have the opportunity to shed light on what I call a, a big hot mess simmering gumbo pot of racial injustice and economic injustice 
and unfair governmental practices, corrupt uh, police systems, when we get the opportunity to protest about this and to bring awareness to it, we're going to do it. And I just don't care whose feelings get hurt. The, but the second time I watched it, I found a different um, version of the same video, uh, the second one that was released, and it just was so clear. I mean, the blood pouring from this man's chest. And if you, I mean, we've had individuals arrested for giving warning shots. Right. Could you give a warning shot in the toe or something? Like, are we shooting people in the chest? And I believe they really? used a stun gun too, so they so they basically electrocuted him, him yeah. electrocuted him, then, and then shot. expected him not to move, and then shot him because he moved. This is not a thing about being against any particular race. If it had happened to somebody else, there should be outrage. Yes. That poor little baby that got shot in the car, those police go into jail. Did you see that? Right. Because it was a, matter of fact, it was, that was a black cop. And it was a, uh, it was a young boy that had autism, I believe. I don't know about all that, but I just know he was shot in the vehicle and killed when these officers were shooting at the dad. Mm -hmm. And they, they in the jailhouse. That house. happened in, in Louisiana as well, yeah. too. They in the jailhouse. So, mm -hmm. just because I look a certain way, some people think I look 16 years old or 18 years old. I have a master's degree. You don't always look like where you've been. So, I don't want to hear that bull crap. I don't want to hear it. The point is that everybody should get a chance. 